Hello everyone, Amanda here. I'm here today to share, um, well, to answer one of my most frequently asked questions when it comes to journaling uh, on my videos and in my Facebook group and that's about the kinds of paper that I use in my journals. So I'm going to show you the papers I use, I'm going to explain um, the different kinds, I'm going to explain the different weights, also I'm then going to show you examples in my journal of which ones are used for what. I'm also going to explain about paper weight. So the paper that I can get is in GSM. Um, there's di countries that use their paper comes in pounds. Um, so I'll explain that as well. Okay, so I use three different kinds of paper. I use the Navigator brand. It's just my preferred brand. Um, it's a good quality one. Um, it's the best quality that I feel is worth the money for journaling. Obviously, you can get dearer and you can get cheaper. One thing that I will say about paper is that the cheaper it is and the thinner it is, the more it will absorb the ink. And so then you'll get darker print colours. If you get one that's a really nice bright white and a good weight, then you'll get sharper, brighter colours and it'll be friendlier on your ink. The reason being that cheaper paper will absorb more ink and so it, you'll get darker colours. Different bands will get, give different results. So, I use three different kinds of paper. The first one is your standard copy of paper, 80 GSM. So, if you're in the United States of America or other countries that their paper weight is in pounds, this is the equivalent of £54. Now, to convert from GSM to pounds and vice versa, the calculation is um, 1.48. So, to convert... GSM to pounds, you divide by 1.48 and to convert from pounds to GSM, you times by 1.48. It's really, really easy. So 8 to GSM is the equivalent of 54 pounds. And this is your standard copy of paper, office grade, just general, what you'd normally use for letters and things like that. And this is what I use for my plain tea dyed pages that don't need to hold heavy things so here's an example so in this journal here I've got some here so this is my normal tea dyed paper it's not holding heavy pockets like here it's not got to have any uh, need any like mixed medium or anything with really any anything heavy on it but it's a uh, you know a budget friendly way of use making journal pages Perfect for tea dyeing, stenciling, stamping, or whatever you like. I also do use this weight for some of my lighter weight ephemera, such as letters and things like that. Okay, so that is the 80 GSM or £54. I get the Navigator because it's readily available in the UK. Anywhere else might look, need to look for a comparable brand, but you want one that says it's smooth and ultra bright and then you know it's not already got a bit of a tint to it unless that's what you want <laughs> but if you get it where it says ultra bright then it's going to give you more true colours when you're printing sometimes you might be printing something and you might think it doesn't look the same as the digital designers or the thumbnails on Etsy or wherever you buy it from and it could be down to your paper that you're using so the second one that I use is this one, and again it's the same brand, and this one is 120 GSM, so it's slightly thicker, and this is the equivalent to £81 in weight. And what I use this for is, this is what I print my digital pages on, so journal pages with digital images. You're getting a more smoother, you're going to get more brighter colours than if you printed on the 80 GSM, and it's sturdier so you can then add things and put pockets and flips and things like that. I will also use that to print some ephemera um, that I'm going to use for layering that doesn't need to be sturdy. Okay, and for some of my other um, letter kind of ephemera, general ephemera that I want a little bit thicker. Okay, so the third one that I use <laughs> 
is 200 GSM. So this is a lightweight cardstock. And I get it in the Navigator because it's a darn sight cheaper than buying craft card. So this has got, how many sheets is this? This has got 150 sheets and it costs me £5 in money, uh, in sterling money, which is quite cheap for a cardstock. It's lightweight, 200 GSM, perfect for crafting. I wouldn't use it for card bases because they might bend. Um, but great for layering, I've made um, all sorts. I've made little boxes that then get layered up with other things. It's perfect. And I use that one for things like here, this decorative frame. Um, things like my tags so that they're more sturdy. So you don't have to back those then with further paper to make them sturdier. So you're saving time by printing on lightweight cardstock if your budget will stretch to it. Uh, what else do I do? Things like journaling cards, I like here. Um, because it's that bit more sturdy, it takes the sewing beauty flare. Things like the mini books, etc, uh, etc. Et I don't really need to go on. I think you can get the idea. So, <clears throat> the Navigator brand is a beautiful brand. It, this is not an affiliate link. I'm not asking you to go to Amazon and, and I earn money from it. It's just what I really, really like. And it's fairly reasonably priced sometimes you can go on amazon and they're charging a fortune for it i paid uh, this one was four pound the cardstock was five pound and this one was four pound 75 because it's got 400 sheets in so it's a larger pack so you should never really be paying any more than between four and five pound for navigator paper and it does go a long way um, and I'll stock up and I'll get one of each and it goes a long way because um, you're using different ones for different things. So it does last a long time and it's well worth it for journal making to get really nice results, especially if you are then selling your journals. It's worth investing in decent paper because it does, it will affect your print quality. Um, so I think that covers all of the questions that I've ever been asked about what paper I use and why. Um, yeah, so there you go. If you can get hold of that or very similar, just make sure it does say um, silky touch if possible and ultra bright, which means it's a nice white paper to start off with so that your print quality is better. All right, I hope that helps. Um, now when I get asked questions, I can refer people back to this video. And um, yeah, so the information's there. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.